Hey everyone, welcome back to Learning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So almost after five months, finally the wait is over. So 9th of November 2021, I quit Amazon, and 10th of November 2021, I joined another company as a data engineer three role. And obviously, I didn't reveal my new company name. I didn't make it public, and that's why thank you, thank you so much for your patience. Like till five months, you guys waited for this one. So make sure to watch this video till the very end so that you can get all your answers related to my job switch. and first let me explain the reason that why i didn't make my new organization name public so the reason was i just wanted to get comfortable with the new changes because it was a new organization complete new change for me a uh, new tech stack new projects new team new company new culture so everything was completely new for me and this is not for me only this is for everyone because when you go to the new place it takes time for you to get comfortable i had to get the good understanding of my current projects the tech stack uh, understanding everything from the scratch and contributing along with my team so everything was there and that's why i just didn't want to disturb myself at least on that aspect making things public at that moment and along with that obviously i just wanted to work on more the content creation part like bring more people from different background different companies and uh just try to put best of the best content in front of you and i can see that improvement at least in last 3 4 months uh you appreciated all the videos you liked all the content uh, which i was putting and again thanks for that so any of you who don't know the exact reasons that why did i even quit amazon as a data engineer i created one video for that you can check that out you will get all your answers so what actually happened with me during the job switch how many offers did i get whether i appeared in fang interviews or not which company did i choose and what was the reason to choose that xyz company everything i will explain and after watching this video if you feel that my mindset was correct during that job switch and i made a good decision to choose some xyz company then let me know in the comment section and also like this video in really big numbers so that these kind of decision making thoughts especially for the data engineering role and their respective companies can reach to maximum number of aspiring data engineers so this time i had multiple job offers for the data engineer role from different company first offer i had from the ku second was from the smarto third was from the credit b fourth from the grab fifth from the misho sixth from the expedia group and seventh from the google itself and that was actually for a little bit different job profile and i will explain that why i showed interest in that profile and why did i even interviewed for that so now the big question is that which company did i choose and i will explain it step by step so this time when i was planning for a job switch i had some clear thoughts in my mind and if you have seen my uh, previous solo videos where i talked about myself my different interview experiences in my past company even in my 5 years of data engineering career i have uh, experimented a lot with my job profiles as well and my data domain understandings as well i worked for a service based company as well in the beginning then i just wanted to get a feel of startup kind of culture so i, I joined paytm after that i wanted to get some feel of consulting environment just to check how things work there and what kind of new things i can learn in consulting and whether it's a good fit for me or not so i joined mckinsey and again obviously wanted to work in the fang level companies so join amazon so so far things were quite good but this time when i was planning for a job switch i had a different mindset and that mindset was uh, obviously i was first of all trying to avoid the fang companies i was not getting a very strong feeling to again interview for the fangam level companies although i was approached by fangam recruiters for the data engineer role like from the facebook i was approached by the recruiter and from the google itself from apple as well from the microsoft as well and obviously i was not getting any kind of a strong feeling to join fangam companies again so that's how i dropped the idea to interview for any fangam companies and at least for this moment uh, nobody knows the future uh, what will happen next but at least for this job transition i didn't want to join fangam company and talking about the fast growing startups in the data engineering space like ku smarto credit b grab misho obviously i had offers from these companies but again i was not interested to join these kind of companies as well i know definitely no learnings would have been really great but also in that case i had to stretch a lot because these are the fast growing companies and after the 5 years in the data engineering obviously i had worked for the paytm in the past so i know that kind of experience and i was definitely trying to avoid that one and there were many important thoughts which actually made my decision really strong to not to accept offers from these fast growing startups 
and one of the reason was uh, previously at least till amazon mostly i got the exposure on the batch data pipelining although uh, based on my understanding based on my exploration i did some pocs and side projects on real time data streaming but obviously that was not enough and that was actually the main change i was expecting this time so obviously for the work life balance part if you are expecting to join startups so you need to compromise on that part little bit because things are quite fast there quite dynamic obviously learnings would be top notch but work life balance would be one of the factor where you need to compromise little bit that was the reason i didn't accept the offers from those growing startups but guys you can let me know one thing in the comment section that if you want a dedicated video for my interview experience interview experience as in uh, wherever i interviewed so i will summarize everything in one video like uh, in the recent interview patterns what all things they asked to me and how many rounds were there what kind of questions you should expect uh, if you are in this 3 or 5 years of experience range for the data engineering companies how i was getting shortlisted even talking about my resume how did i apply and how was i contacted by different recruiters and entire interview process summary including rounds and everything so if you want that let me know in the comment section and the job role which i was talking about for google that was devrel engineer for the data analytics and this profile was something which was quite different actually a kind of advocacy role and i was really surprised because one of the google recruiter reached out to me on linkedin by saying that we loved your content creation journey and we are actually looking for such kind of passionate creators plus engineers who will be a good fit for this role this is a kind of technical program manager role as well you can say including the coding part right uh, you will be closely working with the uh, engineering team and the things which are getting released uh, by the engineering team uh, make it public interact with the uh, audience try to get the feedback and uh, become the part of different communities just try to make developers aware about any newly released feature for any data analytics product by google so uh, it was a very very responsible role where you are acting like a advocate for the analytics product created by the google team this is something where your content creation public speaking everything will be included and google or these kind of companies even i was contacted by the devrel role uh, from the grafana labs right grafana is basically a dashboarding tool so i was contacted by the recruiter itself for this role so that time i realized like this is also one of the uh, really good job profiles but at least for that moment i definitely wanted to see how this interview process goes for this kind of job profile and wanted to understand more about this role that's why i interviewed unfortunately cleared it as well so everything was good but uh, that time i realized probably i just want to spend more time in the tech space but after 5 10 years when i will uh, realize that uh, i don't want to uh, code more i just want to get myself involved in these kind of roles where i just want to act like a advocate or just advocate the products then i can uh, actually look forward for these roles so that's how i even rejected that role so what's actually left now obviously expedia and i know you guys are really smart you know the answer so you are right i joined expedia for the data engineer 3 role that too for the gurgaon location and after amazon this is my new journey so expedia if you don't know this company is a product based company which is in the travel and hospitality and this data domain was also one of my favorites and uh, when i got the interview opportunity i was really excited for this one and the important things which i was looking for in my next role expedia fulfill everything be the a uh, compensation part beat the work life balance part and most 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 important the kind of projects the kind of tech stack i was looking for so here i am definitely working on full fledged large scale real time data streaming pipeline that too with the latest tech stack and best practices of the data engineering with modern tool tech stack ci cd tools and all important really amazing open source frameworks in the real time data streaming so obviously i am enjoying my role everything is good here i have spent 5 months my team is good leadership is really supportive manager and their vision is really good my teammates fantastic right i am learning from them uh, every day and that is the beauty here so i'm really excited for this new journey and i hope now you have got your answer and since i have joined expedia gurgaon location and today is the 6th of april and tomorrow 7th of april my offices are opening so i'll be visiting uh, office as well and it is open in the hybrid mode so any of you who is in the gurgaon location or in the ncr and want to meet me personally then i think Uh, let me know in the comment section about this plan uh, at least on weekend basis we can plan a small small meet up at least with the three four folks and i will also get a chance to interact with you all in person and uh, will listen you if you have anything for me you want to ask 
uh, you want to uh, just understand anything based on my experiences i would love to interact with you in person let me know uh, your thoughts in the comment uh, how is this idea and if you want to do that uh, you can follow me on the instagram i will post everything related to meetups on my instagram stories so you can follow me there so that's what i had for you guys in this video and that is all about my new journey new start for the data engineer 3 role and i'm really excited and i'm learning new things every day and in future definitely i will try to share those learnings in the genetic form with you all so make sure you subscribe this channel as well because lots of amazing amazing content is planned in coming months and i don't want you guys to miss that so make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon i need your best wishes so you can wish me luck in the comment section as well and since you guys have watched this video till this moment i have a really really amazing announcement for you all so geeks for geeks is organizing one of the biggest virtual event ever called the geeks summer carnival a seven day fun filled summer carnival with contests some exciting discounts and offers competitions and engagement activities throughout the car carnival day and in this summer carnival you can avail some really amazing discount offers flat 15% off site wide 20% off on all type of self placed learning courses and 20% off on all type of live courses so really amazing opportunity to avail some amazing discount offers and in this summer carnival they are organizing some really really amazing webinars jobs and internship opportunities and some various other cool stuff so what are you actually waiting for go and get yourself registered as soon as possible because this carnival will be organized from 5th of april till 11th of april so i have provided the link in the description description check it out quickly and get yourself registered so mark your calendar and get ready for these days filled with learnings and growing opportunities